What's going on everyone? Michael Druck Gaming here bringing you the next episode of our Pokemon Xenoverse Xeno Lock. In the last episode we made our way through Mount Starburst, the volcano, and made our way all the way up to the top where we found the Cardinal of the Eldu region and his Scalion. The Cardinal was able to provide some more in-depth explanations to the story of this game, detailing about the Xenoverse itself, the Xeno Pokemon, and also Team Dimension. We were then led here into the volcano where we crossed over to the Xenoverse itself from a Xeno gate, and we actually had a battle against ourselves. And we came out victorious of the battle we came back to mount starburst in our own dimension we had our very own xenoversal core and xenoversal ring so we are going to be giving the xenoverse ring to shulong and we're going to see what happens i believe it's already in the front of the party so let's do this uh shulong yep terrestrial ring Okay, what? what's, <gasps> Shulong, what happened? What is that? It changed form. Look, your Pokemon has changed form. Oh, it looks, it looks like um, an evolution of the alternate form that our alternate self had, because that Shulong was green. It almost reminds me of Zygarde too. So this is the essence of the Xenoverse core. Your Pokemon is a whole different look, more savage and more animal, just like the Xenoverse, which knows no development. Okay. Bravo, Michael. You've been able to bridle your hatred and become stronger. Go on, take your Pokemon. We're going back to Fort Belt Town. Okay, so in between episodes, I... What the heck is happening? Uh... It doesn't seem to be able to control the blue energy. Michael, take your Pokemon back to its basic form. Bruh. Arg, where did it go now? Your Pokemon has run away, but it can't have gone far. I'm sure it is still wandering around the volcano. There's no time to waste. I'm going to the top. Okay, well, spoiler alert. Like I was starting to say, in between episodes, I did get our entire squad up to level 40. Because I've been told there is a very tough battle ahead of us. Um, and by the nature of what just happened, do we have to battle our own starter Pokemon? I don't want to battle our own Shulong. I don't want to battle our own Shulong. That's what this is. Please don't make this a battle between us and the Shulong. I've just, I had no spoilers. I was just informed that there is a very tough battle. So, cheers. I'm gonna need some more G Fuel. So, I did get the other three. Now, we're only three um, team members up with uh, Shu Long at level 40. Some of them did learn some, actually, all of, three of them learned new moves. Oops. We have Scoville, Leech Seed, Fire Blast, Hot Chili Pepper, and Flame Wheel. So, Hot Chili Pepper is base 80 move. It's a grass type move, but it may also burn. Um, we had Seed Bomb, which is also a base 80 move. No secondary effects or anything, so I figured Hot Chili Pepper would be neat to give it. And then we have our Dust Me, level 40. Rap Co at Fake Tears, and it did learn Dragon Breath at level 40 as well, so we're happy about that. And then Chubby Bernie, Fire Fairy type. Uh, with Thick Fat, Lava Plume. I taught him Lava Plume over uh, Fire Spin. It's still a stockpile. Yawn, I thought might be good for encounters or more X Pokemon. And then it learned this move called Sugar Rush. It's a 120 base attack. The user ate tons of sweet and then rushes the targer target. This also damages the user quite a lot. So it looks like maybe like a double edge, like a fairy type double edge. That's pretty cool. So these are our three mons that we're going to be rocking with. I wonder, I just have a feeling we're going to have to fight against our own Shulong. 
I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that we can give our mons that may do some good. Maybe a scope lens. Um, I'm gonna give the muscle band to Scoville here. Man, we really don't have any. Actually, I'm gonna give this to Dusmi. This dragon breath can flinch, and if we have King's Rock, maybe that may have some. I'm gonna give the Focus Sash also to Chubby Bernie. Don't know why he's holding a po random Pokeball. Um, okay. Oh, man. I'm scared, dude. I'm scared. I just, I just have this gut feeling. We're gonna have to battle our own starter. Michael, this way! Scaleon has been right on its tail. Your Pokemon can't escape now. But now it's your duty to appease its rage. You're the only one who can do it. I'm on Shulong. Calm down. Don't make me fight you. I don't even see a picture of who this is. Someone's in trouble here, huh? It was Gengar. I definitely say so. Gengar. Uh, our next Pokemon. Looks like I'm famous among old fogies too. But I'm not here for my admirers, Gengar. I got a bone to pick with this brat right here. Shulong is a valid member of the Xenoverse army now, and through it, I'll get my revenge. They say it's sweetest when it's served up cold, but who cares? Take him down. <sighs> the situation is worse than expected. Scaleon, go over and help Michael. So, do we get Scaleon? Do we get our... I wonder if we... Do we keep Scaleon? That'd be cool. Alright, so we're gonna leave with Skillville. I, I, my gut instinct was right. I wanna leave, see this. Get some chip damage. Oh, yeah, now he freaking lands all the muddy waters. Uh, let's try this hot chili pepper. Let's go. Does nothing! Well, at least we know. Muddy Water, Bubble Beam, Dragon Pulse, Dragon Breath, whatever, and uh, Protect. So we know what he has. I don't really think there's much that he can do against me. I mean, I can just... I only have seven. I mean, of course, he keeps landing all these freaking Muddy Waters. But he is losing health with... I'm. I think I'm just going to have to do it. Of course you miss. I'm so shoot long. We missed. Oh, Scoville, you still are alive. See, I don't want to hard switch anything. Come on, hit this. Yes. Come on. Oh my God. That Where did that come from? Oh, dude. How does he know Aqua Ring? We land two. Come on. And we snagged a burn. Uh-oh. Wh what is that? Title drug... No. 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 It hits one. Oh, we lived on two. Oh, my God. Scovo, you beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, my God. I was also thinking um, that... We might be able to try and pulse. Oh, jeez. Yawn him with, um... Uh, Chubby Bernie. But... I don't know. Yawn probably will... I don't know if Yawn will work or not. Oh, dude. Scoville! Oh, no. 
So we also have the burn. Yes. Um, let's go to Chubby Bernie. I kind of actually don't want to yell on now. Let's try the Sugar Rust. Title Dragoon, good, you missed. Look at that. It didn't, oh my god, that was a 120 base move. Man, Chubby Bernie is just, it's good, but... I don't know if Chubby Bernie evolves or not. I, You know, it's level 40, and he still hasn't evolved yet. We might win this. I'm so upset. <laughs> That's our second Scoville loss. Yes, keep, yes, yes, thank you. We did it! We did it! Chubby Bernie, come through! Chubby Bernie, come through! Maybe it's Chubby Bernie? Oh my god. Oh, thank you. No, 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 and again, no! How can you always come out right? Shulong, destroy the snow buddy in the name of our lord! <laughs> and now he loves us again. How dare you turn your back on me and join those miserable beings? We're superior! No, you're a Gengar, you're not superior. He is too strong for me right now. I wouldn't get out of it easily. And you, little brat, just know that someday I'll get my revenge with my own hands. But until that day comes, adieu, kid. Yeah, ha, <laughs> ha. Dude, we lost. I don't like we lost. Oh, sorry. Lost Scoville. The battle made Shulong realize the real value of your friendship. Looks like it controlled the blue energy now. Great. Fortunately, everything turned out well in the end. Friendship between fellow adventurers overwhelms every spell. Am I right, Scalion? Now that you have that power in your hands, try to limit the excesses. As you have seen, it is a power which has its foundation in hatred. So when mishandled, it could lead to severe consequences. I urge you to use it well. It's been a real pleasure knowing you, Michael. It has been years since I last had the chance to meet a valiant trainer like you. With that power, you will finally level the playing field with Victor and his team dimension. Just remember that the almighty Lux Flood watches over your path and protects you. Oh, I almost forgot. Now that you have resolved this issue, I am sure that Nufar is ready to challenge you in her gym. But watch out. She could not be as large and muscular as her granddad, but she doesn't mess around. <laughs> I want you to take this little present from me, too. The Icarium H? What's that? Okay. That is the mineral. That is. This is the mineral of the Icarium H. Using that contraception created by Aster, you can evoke my Scalion to plow through the skies above Eldu and go back to places you've already visited. Why don't you try it? Give it a try and fly back to Ishitar. Promise me you will stand your ground with my niece, okay? So, we won, but... Oh man, Scoville would have been pretty good now that it learned that red hot, or hot chili pepper. Alright, let's check, check this out. Wow, look at those defenses. 105 and 104. Nice. Oh, wait, this one has Swift Swim. Mmm, not... Oh, what happened? What happened to Aqua Ring and freaking um, Title Dragoon? Oh my! I don't know what I'm gonna do against this thing. Oops, passed it. So I can't see what's up there. It's Polaris Town, Neutron City. Where is? Our city. All right. So we got that. Unfortunately, my gosh, that's two Scovilles. Actually, I want to. No, 
I want to take the item off of Scoville. Muscle Man, dude. That's two Scovilles. Look at that. Look at that. We do have an Eevee, though. We are going to be a Dragon Tamer. Um, I'm going to put him in the box. And this is not going to be an official layout change. And I'm not going to go to the gym yet. I wonder what happens. I actually do want to go back to Fort Belt Town. And I can't. Oh, I can. Let's go back to Fort Belt Town first. See if there's anyone who can help me evolve um, my, this Eevee. Is there somebody in here that was talking about it? Someone in here was talking about evolving Eevee to Scaleon. Um... Fly to an outstar burst. Where does it take me though? Oh, it takes me right here. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Maybe he will say something different after we beat um, the Ishtar gym. And maybe in between episodes, if we make it through this episode um i'll look up how to evolve eevee into scaleon i don't know why i'm healing oh did you see that homeboy down in the uh, bottom of the screen there he was like walking and not getting anywhere okay well unfortunately i think oh my gosh i'm freaking out here i think the only thing that's left to do just go potas out of the way. Can we go into the gym now? This is where we found the gym leader the first time. Where she sent us on her journey. Can we even get anywhere over here? No, we can't. Oh my gosh. I'm just been so annoyed since we lost our freaking Scoville. Oh my gosh. I'm... Ah. Uh, I am out of it right now. Here's the gym. Welcome back, Michael. So tell me, did you manage to meet Gramps? Yeah, I lost my mom that I was planning on using in your gym. What? You gained a new power on the volcano? This is fabulous. I knew that Gramps would have brought the full potential out of you. I'm sure you're going to solve the canyon problem in a blink of an eye now. But first, I would really like to touch this new power of yours. So I'm waiting for you inside this gym. I can assure you it won't be that easy. I'll see you inside. So what do we have? We have Shulong, Dustme, Chubby, Bur Chubby Bernie. I'm gonna call him Chubby Bernie for now. Oh boy. Welcome to Ishitar City's gym, young trainer. What? You want to know if I'm paid to follow you? Sadly, no, but always remember I'll be cheering for you. This time, before starting, I want to test your sense of observation. So tell me, in which type do you think the gym leader specializes? Water? You have carefully observed your clothing, I see. Yeah, that's right. Nufar is a water type specialist. Consider her rushing stream with elect counter her with her rushing stream with electric type or sound type Pokemon. I wanted to test your insight ability because you really are going to need in this gym. What's that supposed to mean? Something inside. A hyper potion. Actually, speaking of potions. Before we do go any farther in this gym, I'm gonna go buy some potions since we used a bunch. 
Uh, do 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 do. Buy thirty hyper potions. And let's look for some things to sell. Do I? I think I have some revives, right? Yes, I do. Nice, 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 nice. Protein, get some attack buffs. Dude, I'm so bummed out. I literally just got here, and I can't remember which way I went. All right. Here you come, challenger. The challenge of the Ishtar, the Ishtar City Gym is based on your, our ancestors' game. The first one you are going to challenge is called the Game of Farfetched. The floor is dotted with platforms depicting the effigy of various Pokemon where you need to find your way on. Only by reading and, dis and decrypting in the right way the clues on these pillars, you will know which road to take. But if you miss your step, you will find out on your own the fate you are destined to. Oh god. And that's all for this game. Try your best and watch your steps, trainer. So what? Do we need to... Walk on the grass. Okay, so then where does this go? Okay. Ooh, we got something else. Got a soda pot. Nice. So it looks like there's some trainers here. It said walk on the grass. How do I know which one is the grass? Okay. Sweet. Walk on the fire. Okay. That wasn't a fire? Oh, crap. <laughs> what <in> the <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. Ha. I'm trying, I'm not trying to defeat all the trainers just because we are already level 40. Oh, okay, sorry. I did not see that. Walk on the water. Ooh, got an elixir. Nice, nice. Okay. <laughs> I do this hilarious. Ah, uh, we gotta fight this dude. All right, what you have for me? We got Starmie. We got our new shoe long here. It's dragon breath. Nice a crit as well. You doing nothing to me. I'm a freaking huge shoe long. Okay, so we have to walk on the water. So we go here, down to Kabutops. Kabutops, boom, 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 and then Kabutops. Do not step there. Okay, good. It's empty, empty. Something inside, a PP max. Nice, nice, that's good, that's good. Empty, oh, what in the world? These dudes are weird. They're yum mask masks. So the buys are a puke muku. It's a regular puke muku, not a football puke muku. Okay. 
Dude, that did nothing. I mean, it's fully parrot. Thank God. Wow. Counter. Please don't mirror coat me. Thank you. Goodbye. We get it. Ooh, that would have been a uh, terrible loss. The luck is part of the game. Uh, okay. I walked literally right into that. <laughs> I know I can't like tilt my head back and get the G fuel from the bottom of the can. This is this uh, headrest, which is which is awesome. I'm not complaining about the headrest for sure. This is so much more comfy than those uh, dining room chairs. Beery geary. I saw people talk. Oh, it's that thing. Okay, I was gonna say I saw people talking about them. I don't know. Chip away. I don't know. I'm assuming. I mean, they're a water type. Looks like a zombie water Pokemon. Okay, let's get on out of here. It's empty. Some something inside here. And X speed. Empty, empty, can't get there. Empty, okay. Dude, do we. Whoa! <laughs> it's that dude. We have to go back to the beginning? Oh my god, are you serious? Dude, that's. Wow. Alright, so this is grass, so we have Pan Sage and Leafeon. Uh, this is fire, so we go Pan Sears and Volcarona. This one was water, so we come down here. We go Pan Poor, Kabutops, Kabutops, Pan Poor, Pan Poor, Kabutops, Pan Poor, Kabutops. Then we're over here. Oh my god, we got it. Energy powder, okay. Man. Is this right? Oh, yeah, no. Revive, useless. Dude. Cosmic ball, what the heck is a cosmic ball? Oh, Moonstone. Moonstone, come on. So inside here, Revival Herb. Do all these have things in them? I mean, maybe I just hit the jackpot and... Holy crap, dude. I mean... It's okay. Big Nugget. Nice. Five more? Ah, oh, that's empty. Something inside here? A nugget? Wow! Dude, we're getting some cash money. Another nugget? Can we even get back? I don't think we can get back there. Wow, okay. So, wow. We got... Four nuggets and one big nugget. Nice. Here and one there. Okay, now what? Oh no, dude. Dude, this room is so freaking annoying. Thank you. He's turned every single time. 
All right, let's do this again. Grass, grass. Get fire. And then, no, we can't do that. Okay, so water. No, it's here. Ah, ha. That was only the first challenge? Oh god. You have to move the squares following the unknown writing from A to Z. However, past the, the path is fraught with pitfalls, and some teleports might mislead you, making you retrace your own steps. Your hunch and your luck are keys for this game. Dude, that was only- ah. <laughs> I thought that was the whole thing. Crap. That's A, B, C, Hillary. This is annoying. I'm gonna say after this battle, we're gonna wrap it up. And then. <laughs> no. Oh, is this a lock on zap cannon? Please, KO. I don't want a zap cannon. Oh, thank god, he's fully powered. How? I don't. I literally don't even see a health bar. Alright, shoe long grows to level 41, and that's it. Alright, so today we're going to wrap it up right here. Between these letters, I'm nothing but an apostrophe. We're going to stay right here on Unknown D, and in the next episode, we're going to hopefully make it through the rest of the alphabet, and I guess we still have one more challenge then afterwards. So, if you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Xenoverse, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, and ring those bells so you don't miss out on anything that's happening on the channel. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm Michael Druck Gaming. You're awesome, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.